Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. How are zombies like computers? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad for a noob. <laughs> All right, get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Good job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. What? What's happening? 
happening to me? Crane? Shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Rahim, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm... I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll, uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. You're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. We've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. I hope those watching fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh, shit. You really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? Hey, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio. 
Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, Spike? I'm Crane. <sighs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Ryze's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Ryze and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Outside, I'm working for Spike. You're crying, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mamar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane.
man, I think it's too late for this guy. Shit. All right. Finish it. Just don't let it fall. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority, though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. 